And I like the kind of cupped mouth. Pretty big topwater bait and a mini 25X a fluke type jerk bait. I am a fan of the uh, the flake stuff. What is happening, fishing friends? Welcome to another episode. Yes, as you can see, we do have another unboxing today from Sixth Sense. And they've got some cool stuff. Um, I used a couple codes a while back, got some good deals on some stuff. And first off, I grabbed one of the hats, the jig hats. Are super sweet I love that deal of course I got one for Dizzle uh, he is if he could fish the jig on everything but I got a little a uh, little of everything today some soft plastics a few hard baits and starting off with a couple of the frog now if you saw my Instagram post or uh, my video from just uh, a couple days ago uh, my first frog fish of the year came on the six cents Vega frog now let me take one out um, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you like it what's the deal with it so far I really really like it now the Six Sense Vega Frog, let's see what color is this, baby bluegill. The Six Sense Vega Frog has kind of a longer body, so if you look at that, almost three inches, you know, more of a longer, slender body, it's got super sharp hooks on it, and I like the kind of cupped mouth, so it's not really, I wouldn't necessarily call it a popping frog, because you can still kind of chug it, so, you know, move it kind of like this, just like a regular frog. But one thing I have really noticed, and I have a lot of luck on, is a frog that you can walk back and forth and have something you know, where it actually spits a little bit. Um, the River to See Bully Walk 2 did that really well. The Mega Bass Big Gabo, um, and this does it as well. I mean, that mouth really allows you to flip it back to back and give those little pops, those little, you know, kind of spits or splashes. It's it's not like a popper, you know, like a, like a Rebel Pop R where you throw it and it goes broop, broop. Not necessarily that I'm looking for. I want to be able to walk it and kind of have a little bit of spit and commotion. Um, I feel like that really does draw bites, and this does that well. Now, um, the legs are kind of long, about the size of the body. I might trim those up just a little bit uh, on the black one that I was using the other day. I did trim them. Maybe I'll try them regular and, and see how they do. Now, one thing I wasn't sure about this frog is, like I've said before, I'm usually a big proponent of when you can squish the body down and turn the hooks around it. One thing they've done is, like, glued the hooks in the bottom here so you don't get a bunch of water in. So that's something I'm going to have to test more. The actual um, hole, you know, when you squeeze the water out, make the frog pee, is up on top. So that's a little different. I did notice that they do not take on water easily at all. Even leaving them, I had one broke off and it was sitting out there for I don't know how long. Didn't take on water, I was able to get it. So, I don't know what that was. So anyway, really like the Sixth Sense Frogs. Grabbed a couple colors. This is that baby bluegill, kind of an iridescent creamish I don't know what color you call that on the bottom almost a tan um, compared to the white frog that is all literally bright white minus the cheeks I didn't have a white one yet so grabbed a couple of those I've got the black one I'm gonna be testing those a lot so far I really like them let's stick with the whole topwater theme I grabbed a couple of walking baits a little bit larger walking baits so I grabbed the Meg dog Speaking of dog stuff you had to scratch, I grabbed the Mag Dog 130. So this is 1.2 ounces, 130 millimeters long. Now I was talking to Bateman about this. I was like, I was on uh, one of his lives not too long ago and said I really liked it. And he's like, yeah, I wish it had three hooks. I didn't even notice that. So I'm a huge fan if you've seen my uh, uh, past videos of the KVD Sexy Dog. I think one of the best all around, easiest to walk. This has a great profile to it, but you know, the Sexy Dog has three separate hooks. Looks like these are probably saltwater hooks, um, but the color is cool. It's like a bonish with like purple on it. I have no doubt this will get some strikes around here. Really cool, but I do agree. I wish it did have three hooks. So we'll see how that comes into play and what the uh, the hookup ratio is like. And then I also got the Mag Dog 150. Let's see. So this is 150 millimeters, one and a half ounces. So when you look to compare it here, it's stuck in my shorts. That's the size difference. So that's a, a pretty big topwater bait. And again, only the two hooks. This has a little bit larger kind of EWD, uh, EWG style hook. So, I mean, it's super, super nice profile. Good hard knock to it. I think this is the same, right? Yep, good hard knock in them. I'm excited to throw it. Um, I used the Catwalk, I think it's called, last year uh, in like a bone color and caught some fish on it. They look great, and that's in the 4K shad, one of my favorite colors that Sixth Sense does. They look awesome. I'm excited to throw them. Maybe throw them big topwater walking baits like this. We can call in some big pike or hopefully a big old bass. Okay, let's stay with the hard bait theme, but go over to some subsurface lures, some crank baits. Um, I got some more of these Crush Mini 25 Xs. So these are a little quarter ounce. They only dive two to four feet. 
Um, I got one, or I think, or two of these uh, on my last Sixth Sense order, uh, and I was really impressed with it. I threw it around a little bit, what didn't catch anything on it that day, but the action is awesome. It's a very cool, small little profile. You know, when the guys are out there all slinging crankbaits, sometimes dropping down to a little finesse, silent crankbait like this, a little bit smaller profile, a little bit more natural looking can make all the difference as opposed to a big, large, rattling, you know, obnoxious crankbait like everybody else is throwing. Switching it up a little bit. Let's see. This color is 25X Threadfin Shad. Well, I guess that's because it's the uh, the Mini 25X Threadfin Shad right there. I also got the color they call Custom Bluegill. Man, isn't that good? That's going to crush in some of the ponds around here, I bet. For next spring, some red and orange. They call that color Boiled Crawfish. And last, baby bluegill. Oh man, those look good. Six Cents truly does have some of the best stock, you know, just out of the box paint jobs. And again, like I've said before, they come with good hardware. Now these are a little bit smaller hooks, a little bit smaller rings. So it's more of a finesse style crankbait. Don't be throwing this on your big, huge, heavy cranking combo. Um, you know, a little bit lighter rod, smaller line, and you'll be fine with this. But they come with good hardware. You don't have to worry about changing out like some of the cheap stuff out there. Um, this is the Crush 50X. So I don't know. These were on clearance. Like I said, I grabbed clearance stuff, and then I used Baitman's code. Um, I'll put that down below. I did that last time. Use his code. He's a super good dude. If you buy stuff from Sixth Sense um, and you buy, like, clearance stuff, you can also use a code to get extra off. So let me show you this guy here. I don't know if these are silent. No, very natural rattle to it though. Ah, super sharp. Those short, I think they're must add triple grips. They don't stay on the deal. I think that's what they are. Somebody told me before. They've got that oval line tie, which I like. Red and black. This was on clearance, so I got them pretty darn cheap. Um, but I like that color. Red and black. I don't really honestly throw that kind of red and black much. You know, like a red, like a, I guess Rayburn red would be the closest in a lipless. Um, I should say I do, but like in a square bell crankbait, I don't really throw red too much. So grabbed a couple of those and what color is this did i say rambo red love rambo and i think i'm kind of one of the weird ones i like the third rambo the best i don't know why i just love that one okay let's move over to the soft plastics i got a couple of these that were in the clearance deal so i could get some extra money off this is the divine shaky worm 6.3 6.3 inches you get 10 in here and this one is called grass candy so these are a little bit longer i was honestly thinking of uh nico or neko rigging these things I feel like that's going to be a pretty good profile. You have your, you know, O-ring here, your weight in the bottom, and this hopefully floats and just kind of come up and wiggle. I thought that would be a good Nico bait. I don't know. What do you all think? Would you shaky head this? I've got some new shaky heads actually I'm going to try out. Maybe we'll do that and give it a try. Um, it's weird because I go in like phases. I mean, what would that have been now? Probably four or five years ago. I didn't want to put the shaky head down. I was confident I could take a shaky head anywhere and catch fish. Then you kind of go through phases where you're trying other stuff, Ned Rig, you know, all these other things. Nico Rig now has been big for me. And you just kind of forget about that stuff. So maybe I just need to uh, throw those on a shaky head and try them. Then I grabbed another color they call Bluegrass Magic. So kind of that green pumpkin with that, uh, what do they call it? Green pumpkin with almost a, like that blue cross swirl through it is what I was thinking of when I got it. Um, it's got nice ridges on it. You can see those ridges point forward, so that should move water give a good vibration in the water. They get a little bit slender as you go toward back. The tail is not hollow or anything, just a regular tail, so hopefully these float. Great profile, I like the looks. Six Sense has some pretty sweet soft plastics. Okay, the next soft plastic, I grabbed some of their flush jerk baits. So essentially like a, a fluke type jerk bait. Uh, 5.2 inches, this one is called Gizzard Shad. I wanted to grab a couple more colors, and I forgot these the other day, I was throwing the regular Zoom Fluke. Um, I didn't bring my big tackle bag, but these things are cool. I've showed them to you before. Neat profile. They do have the slit in the belly, which I like. That way your hook can push up in there. The fin up top, I don't know how well I can show this to you, is split. So you can actually use that to line up your hook and put that right up in there if you wanted or, you know, rig it into that. I think that's just a cool, neat little feature. I don't know what these fins are going to do. If that's going to make it twirl more, does it say on here? Does not say. I don't know if that's going to make it, you know, because when you throw a fluke, like weightless, they'll kind of go down in a circle, and they just look very natural when they fall. I like the tails on these. That's the problem from my fluke video a couple days ago. I had people saying, I thought you didn't like flutes. They get all kinked up. 
Well, when they're brand new out of the package, you don't have that issue, right? They're nice and straight, but these come in a clamshell, which I appreciate. I know Randall's triggered right now. He hates the clamshells, but I like them, especially for something like this. They keep nice and straight, so good looking fluke. I need to put one of those on and throw those soon because the fluke bite was on here. Okay, I also grabbed the color they call Bluegill Magic, which is almost like that Bama, whatever they call it, mixture. It's got like the darker, almost blackish blue blackish green up top and like that watermelony with the red orange kind of yellow man that looks killer i guarantee that will catch some fish around here neat profile a lot of good tail movement i'm digging it i got shad pearl you know a white fluke in the rivers will catch so many crazy different things i need to hit the rivers and creeks more hopefully going to do some of that soon here and then the color that i wanted originally uh, when i picked these up and it was sold out this is called baby crappy or crappy however you say it kind of that greenish yellowish color to it pearl belly with some flake in it i think that's just a really good color neat natural color could almost mimic like a shad type too that kind of color profile but looks good excited to throw them okay next i've been experimenting with different wacky rigs this year so you're gonna see a couple videos coming up from the past week and a half uh, of me fishing some different wacky rigs and I found one that I really really like so I had some people ask me about this one have you thrown the clout this is the six cents clout 5.4 inches you get 10 in here this is called green pumpkin juice great color it's like a green pumpkin with red green yellowish silverish all kinds of different flake in there and in the sun that flake really stands out and gives just a cool neat you know different shine to it so I am a fan of the uh, the flake stuff Pretty cool body, pretty pretty movable. I wouldn't say super soft. You can see they're kind of stiff on one side, I guess. But it's got this like diamond pattern shape to it. I've never seen that on a worm before, like a diamond deal. I don't think it says anything about it on here, no. So we'll see how those two. I want to uh, wacky rig these babies and try them. Uh, right now, like I said, you're going to see uh, another video of the wacky rig, and it's just been tearing them up here. I also got this color they call worm juice so it's like a watermelon up top with red and black flake and then on the bottom like a tannish peach i guess you would say with like red flake in there too red purple black flake neat weird neat different color i feel like that's a really natural looking color i think that'll definitely get a few bites in the ponds around here this one they call melon dust so again like that watermelon up top with black flake and then the bottom has almost like a tannish brown with blue iridescent flake colors are cool they've got some really cool soft plastics you can see it's like a half and half lighter and then that darker kind of bottom just a little bit really neat i like that one and last you all know i am a fan of purple this one they call cinnamon craves so it's like black with purple flake and then like a almost like a tannish purple colored soft plastic just weird a weird color like it looks different in the light as opposed to like the dark i don't know cool we'll see how that does oh and i had one more in there sorry dark water bug yeah like i've said i like the black and purple this is your black and purple black up top with purple and blue flake on bottom almost like a june bug slash black and purple oh yeah dirty water no no doubt that'll get a few bites <clears throat> okay a while back i think i only grabbed one of the stroker craws so i re-upped on those i've had a chance to use them i like them i like them a lot it is like a beaver bait uh where somebody glued on like a, a, a curly tail like a double tail grub on the back of it so it's this cool cross shape these nice little flappy like i said grub looking things down there it's just a cool neat profile this is nirvana love that color like black and blue up top and then your green pumpkin on bottom really neat color had to get that in the stroker craw i really like that i want to throw it more i had like kind of a weird color um, i threw it one day and ended up switching because i only had larger hooks i want to say this is like a three out hook on here because i think i had like a four or five out and it was just way too big uh it wasn't working it was just kept tearing it so i think three out is what you go with on these let's see i grabbed an okeechobee craw this color does well around here why i don't know because it's like your dark green pumpkin on top you flip it around and it's like this obnoxious glittery blue doesn't look natural at all now the the craws we have around here do get like this greenish blue color so i'm hoping that's what it's mimicking um sometimes i think if you just you know are flipping and pitching wood uh and really whatever it is sometimes i don't think the color really matters that much they're just seeing something with a good action come by and instinctually they just you know and grab it so 
I think that's part of it. You know, other times dragging and jigging stuff, I know they do see it. So I don't know, for whatever reason, that color does well around here, that green pumpkin, bluish Okeechobee craw. Grab one of those. I grabbed a color called Gill Dust. Now I was using one of the, um, gosh, and I forget what they are now. It was a Big Bites bait something, and I can't remember what the name of it was, but my guy Brando turned me on to those, and this is a very similar color. It's like this brownish green pumpkin with copper and purple flake in it. So pretty much the exact same colorway, a little bit different body style. It's got, like I said, those kind of grubbish, flappy deals down there, as opposed to the Big Bite baits had like large claws that kind of flapped, where this is going to flutter and kind of twitter more, a little bit closer, tighter action, not as like flappy wavy. And last, I picked up a color that I honestly don't throw enough, like peanut butter and jelly. This one they call ox blood, but it's like this brownish with red flake up top. You can see there. Flip it over, and it's like this dark purple. Weird color, a color that I honestly don't throw much, like a peanut butter jelly. So I grabbed those. Color looks darn cool. All right, fishing friends, please do me a favor and comment below. Let me know what you're the most excited to see. You want to see some more wacky rig stuff? How about the big old topwater walking baits? Really intrigued by these. What do you think of the flush? Like it or not, you're definitely going to see more frogging. So please comment below and let me know what you're the most excited to see out of all this. If you want to see the action of it, I'm going to try to take out my underwater camera and do some underwater camera stuff now that we've got some nice weather. I don't know. Comment below and let me know. Now today's subscribe fish and friend is my guy Richard Souza. Richard, thank you for always commenting. You're always on my channel. Supporting me means a lot, like I've said before. Can't do it without all of you. I appreciate everyone who continues to watch. Support really does mean a ton to me, but uh, I need to edit. So thank you all so much for watching. If there's like another unboxing about a couple other smaller kind of big companies, um, stuff I ordered, I don't use them really ever. So should be interesting. But yeah, if there's any other unboxings or whatnot you want to see, comment below and let me know. But again, thank you all for watching. And until next time.